familiar to you, the holiday. It's complicated. Something's got to give. Home again. If you've ever watched a Nancy Myers film, you probably dream of owning the house in it. Whether it's that creamy, dreamy Southern California vibe or the coastal chic of the Hamptons, here to show us how to use it as your inspiration for your own decor, we've got our own Kimberly Selden. <laughs> You know, you're, you're thinking, hey, this is a pretty good movie, but mostly you're thinking, I want to move in there. Yeah, I'm like, I missed the plot totally yes. because I'm like, a close up on that, you know, on that coffee table image oh. or whatever. And the funniest thing for about a three year period, we did nothing but the kitchen from Something's Gotta Give. Right. Every client called us, we want a new kitchen. We're thinking, Something's Gotta Give? Right, got it. We're good. So. Yeah, it is really good inspiration, but yep. what is it about these spaces and those houses that draw us to them? So first of all, usually they're inspirational in terms of the setting. So they're yeah. on the beach, they're yes. in a beautiful city setting, so we aspire to live like that. And then when it comes to the furnishings themselves, they're our best selves. The house is tidy and it's clean and nobody has to do any housekeeping. Right. It's always perfect, right? Yeah. And then there's Naked Jack, you know, Nicholson in the <laughs> fridge, which is, you know, everybody <laughs> thinks about that, right? Um, so, so that's part of it. And then part of it is that the set designers know what's happening and what's trending kind of before it starts. So for example, in the set we have today, slip covers are really coming back in a big way. You definitely saw slip covers in Something's Gotta Give and in mm -hmm. It's Complicated. There's really really easy to live with and they're more tailored now so they're not quite as sloppy as they used to be. Yes. So that's important when you're buying a slipcover it has to be really well made otherwise it just kind of looks disheveled instead of casual. And it's functional because in all totally. of these movies you're seeing these beautiful creamy beigey <sighs> And you're thinking, okay, the dog, the kids, right. the spouse, something's ending up on that sofa or that chair. Yeah. So the slip cover at least gives you the ability to take it off, have it dry cleaned or wash it. For sure. And then you're okay. For sure. The carpet that we're standing on, very on trend, big, heavy, knitted carpet. It's nice. It feels like something maybe from the 70s, you know, so there's just, they pepper it with stuff like that. Then the other thing is that they're often women-centric. Like, we're excited mm. as a female audience to see someone who looks like us. She might be our age. She might yes. be going through some of the stuff we're going through. So there's feminine touches in the room. We've got flowers. We've got little knickknacks that are a bit more delicate in scale. The artwork is a, an, a pastel series of flowers. Mm -hmm. And I've even got some pink on the wall, a very soft, subtle pink. You almost don't even know it's pink, right? Right. Um, and that's another thing. Um, they sort of appeal to the fact that we're color phobic. We're a little bit afraid of color. So often it's neutrals and maybe a hit of some black to grab. It. Right. So that we've got the coffee table that's black, we've got yes. some pillows that are black. It just gives it a little bit of weight. So it's not completely ethereal and floating, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, and it's you know, it's uncluttered. There's just there's yes. just enough stuff to make you feel like it's home. Yeah. But it's when not there's when there, yeah, when there's no stuff, it's uncomfortable because yeah. the minute you put your phone and your purse down, there's stuff. Right. Right? <laughs> so when there's enough stuff, those extra things that we add to the mix don't matter that much. That's right. And that leads me to the point that every every inch of a set is Instagrammable, right? And that's become more so over time. And you know, 20 years ago, we didn't live with our homes looking Insta friendly. Mm -hmm. But now people really do. You, you first you started with a vignette and that was perfect and it didn't have a lot of extra stuff. And then that expanded to the sofa and then suddenly the family room looked all Instagrammable, right? right. So you might have a couple places in your house that aren't ready for a close up. Yeah. You never take a picture in there. Never. Like so you never. notice like whenever anybody's in their instant environment, it's yes. perfect. We There's only know. three areas of my house where I could possibly take a picture. Exactly. We're like, oh, <laughs> she's back on the sofa again. I wonder what the other half right? of the room looks like. You will we never don't. see it. We don't know. <laughs> and then there's these kitchens, and this is the part that just slays me. They're in yes. the Hamptons, they're in LA, whatever. They never cook. Right, but they oh, have no. these kitchens that you can no. cater a wedding for 500 people. I know. So be aware when you're watching this that yes, you get caught up in the romance of it. That's great. You can yeah. steal some ideas, but don't automatically think you have to have that huge bathroom or that huge kitchen yes. if that doesn't actually suit your lifestyle. The media really feeds us Ooh. a lot of that stuff. I mean, remember yeah. Friends? Like two of them living in that huge apartment in <laughs> New York. I know. Are right? you kidding me? Poor kids. And you're a waitress. Are you kidding me? Poor kids. Yeah. 
Yeah, but that just doesn't happen. <laughs> Never, no. So you see these huge homes but and they, these huge kitchens. But and they did have that orange colored sofa. <laughs> they did. They had right? some ugly like furniture. We, I all remember like that. That's true. Or, and it's back, by the way, orange, bright green, yeah. bright blue sofas in a huge way back. Yeah, those the not harvest this. colors. Not this. Yeah, not this at all. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Kimberly, you got the gorgeous set here from Cocoon Furnishings um, and did a fabulous job they're, with it, so thank you for that. They're wonderful. Yeah.